Are you happy with your life? Do you like the person you've become? The person you've become. What if I told you you can change? You want to change. What if I told you, by learning a few simple techniques, you can alter your destiny? If you really want to change, then welcome to the beginning of the rest of your life. When it comes down to understanding the human mind, an iceberg is probably the best example to use. The tip of the iceberg is similar to our conscious, where logic and reason prevails. This amounts to about 10% of our mind's full potential. However, it is the 90%, our subconscious, that is really the most powerful part of our minds. Just like the iceberg, the tip is the visible part, where even the strongest winds can't move it. It is the unseen that makes the difference. It is the 90% that dominates the movement in life just like the currents are the actual forces that are able to move the iceberg. Imagine if you could explore the untouched regions in your mind. Imagine if you could control the currents and move the iceberg in the direction you want. What if I told you, you can harness this power? What if I told you, we know how to do this? There were three men from Texas who were good friends an environmentalist, a pastor, and a cowboy. Every year, they would get together and go on a holiday. One year, they decided to head out to the Grand Canyon, as they had never been there before. After a long drive, they arrived at a car park in front of a bridge overlooking the Grand Canyon. The pastor was the first to get out of the car. As he stood at the bridge to look at the view, he was mesmerized. He said, wow, this is one of God's greatest creations. Excitedly, he called out to his two friends to join him. The environmentalist got down and walked towards the bridge. When he saw the view, he was captivated by the view of the canyon. He said, this is one of nature's greatest wonders. Finally, the cowboy got down and joined them. When he saw the canyon, he said, Wow, that is one heck of a place to lose a cow. Though they saw the same thing, their thoughts on it were different. What about your life? How do you perceive things? This is what it's all about. When you change your perception, you change your life. Dr. Georgi Lozanov, a Bulgarian psychotherapist, developed a method called Suggestopedia. Lozanov gathered a group of people and exposed them to a list of verbs of a different language. Instead of being aggressive and forcing them to learn the verbs, Lozanov played classical music which created a soothing, relaxing atmosphere. When the course was over, Lozanov tested them again for what mastery, if any, they had of the language over the duration of the course. What he came to find was that they had attained up to a two to three year working vocabulary over the course of 21 days. Lozanov had discovered that by being in a relaxed state, we are able to absorb information better and faster. It all started when Jose Silva, in an act of love, decided to secure a better future for his 10 children. He studied and compiled theories from many sources, Lozanov being one of them, hypnosis being another, to come up with a method for memory enhancement. What was discovered in the process was that this method had the potential benefits of self-healing, overcoming insomnia, and changing perception. This method, we now know it as the Silver Method. Now the stories you're about to see involve real people who have taken the Silver Method course and have overcome their challenges. I've been asked today to give a little background on some of the successes, some of the experiences I've had with Silva. And that's really a tough task because there have been countless, countless examples. So on a personal note, I first got involved in Silva in 1971 and a friend of mine invited me to an introductory presentation. And admittedly, one part of me said, yes, I'm interested in this, this sounds great. And another part of me was really skeptical. But lo and behold, I went through this program called the Silver Method, where we learned to use more of our mind, more of our capabilities. And one of the first things that happened for me was, I used to suffer from headaches. I used to, in fact, need anison for headaches repeatedly. 
and almost immediately in my class, which was Memorial Day weekend, 1971, from that time forward, I stopped needing medication. After about 14 months, approximately, it's like I stopped getting the headaches. Uh, I was so depressed, and all my work is so hectic and uh, crumbling. So I need to uh, find uh, some momentum to recover from that kind of depressed situation. Yeah, I attending this class uh, around some two years ago, and I slowly realized it's uh, helping me out in every aspect of my life. Yes, but even that's to include uh, my, from the, my basic, my mind, uh, all my the health, and even my business. Yes, and whenever I practice the silver method, it dramatically reduced my stress level. Kane Samia was a straight-A student all through high school, but he had a major problem, intense shyness. In class, Kane could never bring himself to raise his hand to ask questions. The thought of public speaking made him extremely nervous and fearful. To make matters worse, he was extremely poor at writing, and he would suffer anxiety attacks and his mind would literally go blank. But then one day, he received something in the mail, which would turn his life around. It was a Silva Method brochure. Without wasting any time, he contacted the center for more information. Kane applied what he learned from the Silva Method into his daily activities, and soon he was able to tap into his intuition and insight. Kane soon discovered something truly amazing. He developed an ability to write, not just any ordinary piece of writing, but brilliantly inspired poetry, technical manuals, as well as newsletters. The Silva Method had allowed him to discover and develop this ability. Soon, Kane became a prolific writer, but he still had one problem, the fear of public speaking. Then, in 1996, the success story of how he overcame his inability to write was chosen as the winning story for the 30th anniversary convention of Silva in Amarillo, Texas. He was to speak to a large audience, and he had less than a month to overcome his fear of public speaking. Using the Silva method again, Kane was able to overcome his fear of public speaking. Incredibly, Kane delivered his paper at the Silva Anniversary Convention as though he had been doing it professionally for years. Today, Kane is now a master at writing and public speaking, thanks to the Silva method. It is important to note that people who are depressed or anxious take shorter breaths. There is a direct link between breathing and the chemicals in the brain. Proper breathing improves your health because when you breathe, the oxygen helps your brain function better, helps you calm down, reduces your blood pressure and releases endorphins. Shallow breathing, on the other hand, increases your heart rate and increases your blood pressure. If you feel you're under a lot of stress, there's still time. I took Silva back in 1991 to enhance my life. In 1996, Silva International had a success contest and they selected mine to be the grand prize winner. As part of that process, the first Silva instructor named uh, Nelda Sheets approached me and asked me if I wanted to speak at the 30th anniversary convention. But I had still this intense fear because I was so shy that if I stood in front of more than one person to speak, I would turn beet red and I would almost get to the point of fainting. Now prior to that, I had gone to you know, practitioners like NLP and they had worked on this fear, but it just had no success. So that's when I said, okay, it's time to use the Silva method techniques. So I used the three fingers technique to uh, act as a trigger that any time that I put my three fingers together, an instant calming effect would come upon me. And periodically, I would go through the mental rehearsal and that I would step on the podium, I look at the audience, and I would be totally confident. And of course, in the back of the room, I imagine Jose Silva to be sitting there next to a person. And that every now and then he would be pointing to his uh, neighbor and say, who is this guy? He's so good. So that was the mental imagery that I used for this process. So come October time frame, I'm sitting in the front row when my name is called. And exactly as I had pictured, 
I saw this instant nervousness come upon me. And then I put my three fingers together just like I had been practicing. And I saw and I felt this instant calming effect. I step into the podium and I look at the audience and I'm totally relaxed and confident. And I see during the whole process as I'm delivering my speech that everybody is just having fun and Jose Silva, I actually glanced at him. Every now and then I noticed that he was actually pointing to his neighbor and whispering something. Who is this guy? And then afterwards, I spoke to Jose and Jose said, oh, you've been uh, teaching for a long time, haven't you? I said, no, Jose, this was actually my first public speech. speech. And many people came to me and said, Cain, you did a wonderful job, as if you know I'm like a professional speaker. And I said, no, this is the very first time that I have actually stood in front of a group of 200 people and not faint. In the beginning, things did not change easily, but what did change was the perception of myself. That also goes on with the self-esteem. I remember doing the Silver Method course when I was in Form 4. Right after the course, uh, my studies took a turn. Of course, the more I practiced the techniques, the better I got in my studies. And in the end, I remember that practicing the techniques makes me pass my exam with flying colors. Coming from a farmyard, two young frogs named Herbie and Freddy were curious to explore the world. One day, they found a barrel full of cream. Eager to know what it was, they got to the top of the barrel and dove right in and enjoyed swimming around in the cream. After a while, they got tired and decided to leave. However, there was a problem. There was no foothold whatsoever for them to get a sturdy footing on to jump out of the barrel. Ever the pessimist, Freddy complained about their problem. He kept saying he couldn't do it and that there was no way out. And eventually, he drowned and sunk to the bottom of the barrel. Herbie, on the other hand, kept a positive mind. He refused to give in so easily. So he swam about, thinking of a way to get out. As he thrashed about, the cream began to thicken and turned into solid butter. With steady footing, he hopped out, alive. Freddy left us not because he was the weaker one physically, but mentally. Freddy gave up in his mind. Have you given up on certain things in your life? Have you given up on your dreams just because you didn't know how to achieve them? We may think our brains are just used for work and studies, but in truth, it goes far beyond that. Take dreams, for instance. They can be so potent. They can feel so real. Have you ever dreamt you've been chased? And when you wake up, your heart is pounding, your body is drenched in sweat, and you feel every nerve is frayed. Why, you ask? The chemicals in our body simply react to our dreams. That's the power of our brain. As daunting as this may sound, it's actually a good thing. Instead of dreaming, what if you could consciously control the chemicals in your body? What if? I am very thankful for every single day of my life. I have a beautiful wife, three children, and I run my own practice as an architect. What more could I ask for? Well, one thing I did not have was good health. Back in December 2003, when I was 46, I was devastated to find out that I have cancer. My own mother had died of cancer within just six months of the doctor's diagnosis. In fact, right after the doctor removed the tumour in my colon, he told me that I only had 35% chance of living within the next five years. That meant I had only until August 2005 to live. I then spent a great deal on medical procedures and operations. Although I had undergone two cycles of chemotherapy, at the same time, I was desperately seeking alternative treatment. A family dentist told me about the Silva method, which he thought may be able to help me somehow. I decided to give it a shot and sign up for the program, even though I received many discouraging and negative comments from even my relatives and my closest friends. There at the Silva Method Center, I was able to understand the methods more personally. Since then, my health amazingly began to improve. I began to see life more positively. According to my doctor, I am not supposed to be alive today. But 
here I am. Miraculously, I was given a new lease of life. And this life is a gift given back to me tenfold. Thanks to you, Silva Method. It seems impossible, maybe. But is it as impossible as human flight? Harnessing the power of lightning? Wireless communication? All this seemed impossible long ago. Some people may say you're crazy, but we did it. We achieved the impossible by putting our minds to it. I, I actually joined the program sometime in September, if I'm not mistaken, in uh, 2004. I'm a, a cancer survivor. The whole gist of the program really taught me to uh, take control of my mental capacity because uh, by that time then I realized that uh, the way to good health was to tackle these three aspects of uh, my uh, well-being, which is the physical, the mental and the spiritual aspects. Because basically what, what the program helped me was to focus on how to think positive. Because if you're mentally sick, then you're generally you're a negative person, you know. Uh, everything cannot be done, uh, you're going to be sick forever. And uh, the, the, the thing about it, uh, the server program, is that it helps me even to look at calamities, look at all these negativities in a positive manner. In a way, Silver Program has helped me how to turn the table around. So much so that uh, I've now treated my cancer condition as a blessing rather than a curse. You see, why is it a blessing? Because through cancer, I've been able to forgive my enemies. I've been able to not to take things for granted with my family and my children. Uh, I've begun to appreciate life better. If I didn't have that mental training through through Silver Method. It would be quite tough. In the early 1900s, a man named Walter Russell promised his girlfriend that he would get her season tickets for the opera. As the time drew close, however, he realized that he was $20 shy of what he needed. Upon telling his girlfriend, he was given an earful. Instead of backing down, he worked odd jobs to get more money. A week before the opera opened, he stood first in line to buy the tickets, although he was still short on funds. He still felt that he would somehow manage to collect what he needed. Suddenly, a businessman ran towards him and offered him some money so he could stand in front of Walter in line, as he was late for work. Instead of offering the man his place in front of him, Walter told the man that he would buy the tickets for him and deliver it with no extra charge. Grateful for his kindness, the businessman paid Walter an additional $5 for Walter's services. During this time, many other people standing in line overheard Walter and the businessman's conversation. They too made the same proposition to Walter. By the time the box office opened, Walter had doubled the amount that he needed. Back in 2006, I was able to use a particular Silva method, a Silva practice, uh, to solve an issue that I had. In the summer of that year, I got remarried because I'd been retired for several years. And when I got remarried, uh, an eight-year-old daughter came along with the marriage. With the marriage, it was necessary for me to go back to work. But I'd been out of the industry for several years, and I'd, been, I'd lost a lot of my contacts. I didn't know how to go ahead and get around this. So I did the mirror of the mind practice. So I did that. On the right side, I visualized my situation where I needed employment, I needed an income. And so as I moved over to the left side, I erased everything on the mirror. On the left side, I put the solution. Shortly after this, a friend that I'd been keeping in contact with, I'm going to be the general manager of a factory, it was in a turnaround situation. But he said he needed a technical director. Well, this was something that uh, I could easily do, so I accepted the job. It is important to remember what you perceive and you believe you can achieve. My name is Datu Sheikh Mustafa Shukor. I have five sons, and by design, Dr. Sheikh Mustafa Shukor, the first Malaysian astronaut, happened to be my son. People want to know how Silver Method has influenced my five boys a great deal. My son, the astronaut, 
took under Dr. Robert Stone and he benefited a great deal. I was able to bring up all my five children in a positive way. They applied silver method in their studies, in their education, and I'm proud to say they, I managed to send them all and became university graduates in their own field. And that's a great thing. People say silver mine is something magical or what. To me, I like to explain it is actually a tool. You can splash your problem and always lead into solution. So I'll ask you again, are you really happy with your life? Do you really want to change? Or are you going to walk away from this life-changing opportunity? Silver grads around the world are known for being some of the highest achievers. Not because they're special, but because they made a decision. A decision that changed their lives forever. We want to give you a step-by-step -step method for enhancing the quality of your life. We want to give you the how. We want to make you better and better every day and in every way. The choice is yours. <laughs>